Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Today I Found Out, and in the video today, the curious case of the fruit that transforms sour to sweet. Growing on tall shrubs with dense foliage, the small, red, mildly sweet berries, known as miracle fruit, seemingly magically can turn sour flavors into sweet. The plant that produces the berries, Syncepalum dulcificum, is native to West Africa, where the fruit was traditionally used to sweeten palm wine as well as make soured cornbread more palatable. Growing best in acidic soil in tropical zones, the coffee-sized berries were introduced to Europeans by the explorer Chevalier de Marche. So, how does this work? Well, the exact mechanisms here aren't fully understood. But in a nutshell, the fruit gets its sweetening properties from miraculin, a glycoprotein in the berry that binds to sweet receptors on the tongue. As to how the miraculin then makes sour things taste sweet, it appears to relate to the pH of the miraculin, which is neutral, and sour foods, which are acidic. More specifically, when the miraculin binds to the sweet receptors on the tongue, it is mostly inert until it comes into contact with acidic substances. When that happens, the miraculin changes structure slightly, with the results being the sweet receptors it is bound to becoming activated. Because miraculin binds so strongly to the sweet receptors on the tongue, the berry does not have to be eaten with the sour food, and the sweetening effect may last as much as 30 to 60 minutes after chewing the berries. The duration of the effect depends on factors, including the concentration of the miraculin, how long it was in contact with the tongue, and the concentration of the acid in the otherwise sour food. Not a subtle effect either, the perceived sweetness produced by the miracle fruit can be remarkable, equivalent to up to a 17% sucrose solution. For reference here, the equivalent sucrose solution for typical soft drinks is only about 10%. The effect is things like Tabasco sauce reportedly changing flavor to that of a donut glaze, among a myriad of other weird taste alterations. To date, the miracle fruit has yet to be developed into a commercially viable, non-caloric sugar substitute in the United States, although an attempt was made in the 1970s. However, the day before the product was to launch under the brand's name Mirilin, the FDA suddenly switched from original plans to classify it as generally recognized as safe GRAS, to classifying it as a food additive which meant years of further testing. This was a highly controversial move given that the berries had regularly been eaten for centuries in Africa without any apparent ill effects. The project backers lacked the funding to conduct the years of testing needed, and Mirilin ultimately folded. However, because of the circumstances of the FDA's decision-making process, it was suggested that the sugar industry flexed its political muscle to sabotage the project. As such, using the Freedom of Information Act, Mirilin ultimately requested documents related to the FDA's processing of their product. Fanning the conspiracy flames here, when the files were produced, most of the documents were inexplicably completely blacked out, and there was no mention anywhere of why the FDA suddenly chose to switch from a GRAS classification to classifying the substance as a food additive. The berry has been classified as a harmless additive in Japan, where researchers are fiddling with it using recombinant technology. For example, using genetic modification, they have managed to produce lettuce that expresses miraculin equivalent to one miracle berry with just two grams of lettuce leaves. In 2009, an oncologist at Miami's Mount Sinai Medical Center also filed an investigational new drug application with the United States Food and Drug Administration USDA, for the use of the miracle fruit with chemotherapy patients. From anecdotal evidence, the oncologist had discovered that some patients found it helped in counteracting the metallic taste, which is a byproduct of chemotherapy. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And do not forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, check out some videos from the archive over there on the right. And as always, thank you for watching.